Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Crimic Clown, and you're watching me play Tech It. Modern Minecraft Tech It, yes. Uh, this blaze grinder, uh, advanced blaze grinder, has been doing a great job. Uh, we haven't got any red matter blocks yet from this system because we are currently stuffing this chest with, um, with blaze rods which we need for our factory. But in the meantime... Um, we will just go down and discuss the votes we had, because we had a poll last episode. Um, uh, I will tell you in just a second, before I show you this, I was tired of having the uh, <laughs> having to remove the block, so I made it into a carpenter's door. Now, you might, uh, you might not have seen this mod, but it's a great little mod called the Carpenter's Blocks. Uh, you get these carpenter blocks, which are really cheap. They're like uh, a plank and some sticks. And they convert to EMC, and you can make any basic item uh, used in Minecraft out of them. You can make uh, blocks, you can make a daylight sensor, you can make a safe, uh, some ladders. These are these ladders also stand alone, by the way. You don't need to put them up against the wall. Uh, carpenter stairs, uh, slabs, uh, you name it. Garage doors, even or wedges, um, whatever you fancy. There is a carpenter variant. Of it even beds and fences and posts and gates uh, there's a lot of stuff anyway uh, the fun thing about the because these look like basic wood things right but if you right click them with any block it takes the shape and uh, color of that block but also the property so if you make a carpenter's door out of obsidian it's blast proof. If you make it out of glass, it's see-through, etc, etc. Now you can also use a hammer to uh, switch it around, which side is which, but you can also have different styles, like for instance this one, which is basically an invisible wall. And uh, now also, because it was wool, I couldn't, uh, uh, I couldn't demolish it fast enough with my pickaxe. I would r literally need shears to take it down faster. Because it takes all the properties. Anyway, uh, this carpenter's door, yes. Uh, great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, we had some uh, poll results last time. Uh, there was a total of six votes on the last video. Uh, two of them were to use this kind of setup. Uh, one of them was to use this kind of setup. And... No... That's, that's not correct. Three of them wanted to use this setup, two wanted this setup, and one wanted me to build a trailer home. Uh, now, I want to honor all those votes. So, we'll just leave this in for the, uh, for the base components, like copper cables, and um, perhaps even batteries, because this is a bit of a process. Uh, this has filled up, by the way. So, uh, this will be the ideal distribution of items. So, if I would put a... Uh, auto project table down somewhere uh, we could fill it up with these batteries which are now stuck in this uh, uh, in this filter it didn't really uh, clog up uh, as I thought it would so we uh, yeah we came off lightly there uh, anyway um, we are going to use this kind of fashion because uh, super mirrors are one two three four uh, has said that we have unlimited EMC. We've got blaze rods being made upstairs. We should definitely do things the hard way. And I agree. We should do things with filters. Because they're not only awesome, but they look very factory. And we don't have mine factory or something so we can have conveyor belts. Uh, at least I don't think we have conveyor no, we don't have any conveyor belts, sadly. So, uh, we'll do it like this. So, let's uh, put down some chests and some auto project tables and we'll all link them up. Uh, we need to know what we're making and why we are making it. So, what we'll do to make resources... Let's turn this off for a second because it's driving me nuts. Um, <laughs> what we, uh, We'll use this setup to make new items. So, if we have anything that can be EMC'd, um, we'll grab it in the chest, we'll put a hopper on top of it, and a energy condenser. Uh, for the final product, here's the project table. This is going to be solar panels. So, we need a couple of things. Uh, a generator. Uh, we need some glass, we need some coal dust, and I think 
solar panel. There we go. I think we need some electronic circuits as well. So for the circuits, we need a copper cables, redstone and refined iron. Which is uh, no big deal. We've got a uh, copper cable set up. And we've got, uh, we've got redstone and refined iron, which we can EMC. Uh, Generator is probably going to be the hardest part because we need uh, we need to craft the refined iron ingots into blocks. Uh, then we need to add a furnace and a battery. So that's going to be, I think, the largest production chain. So here's the battery. Uh, we will have the uh, generator crafting table up here. There we go. Generator. There we go. Uh, perhaps we should uh, put the signs on top, by the way, just so we can access the sides generator. There we go. And we'll put this one up the side, uh, up the top as well. Uh, is that straight? Yes, it's straight. Why did I demolish it? There we go. Solar panel. Now, of course, we need to make an array of solar panels because we need to... Uh, put these together and we need to create the high voltage solar panels so this is a low voltage uh, we need an LV transformer for that which we can uh, conjure up that's fine uh, this we can conjure up as well because it only takes gold and rubber uh, and a what what's it machine block yes and then this takes the MV transformer we already have uh, and we can use the access ones to create the MV transformer uh, or the HV transformer excuse me this takes revi refined iron and rubber it's gonna be quite the production chain to get this all together but we'll uh, we'll manage all right so uh, this is for the generator let's let's think about this and let's put it together we need a generator so we need refined iron there we go uh, let's put down a energy condenser and let's put down a hopper on top of it. And let's put down an end chest. There we go. I should really stop using that. Uh, <laughs> it keeps popping up into my inventory. Uh, there we go. This is going to be refined iron. And this refined iron, uh, we'll have to grab one. Refined iron. There we go. And this, there we go. That's nice. That's very nice. Right, so this is going to be drained in no time. Um, because refined iron is quite expensive. It takes, a, it takes a blaze rod to make six, I believe, or five even. I think five. Um, so we need a filter for this. And we'll probably need a wrench as well. I'm so glad this can use a wrench. We don't need to use a screwdriver, which was a... a uh, which used to be the uh, the red power tool of choice. Uh, you can even use a sonic screwdriver. Nice little Doctor Who reference uh, in there. Uh, let's see. We need to make sure that uh, this is evenly filled as well. Because, uh, because we need this not to overflow. That's one of the main things. Uh... Can we shuffle this? Yes, we can. All right. So I think this is a very good distribution. Uh, perhaps one more stack of redstone and one less stack of tin. But... Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. Being bothered by a slime here. All right. Um, fixed it anyway. <laughs> All right, that, uh, that took me by surprise. And there is slime spawning down here. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. Um, we need to do something about this. Uh, I think we can use some uh, interdiction torches. Uh, I think. But then again, we are putting down torches. And I don't really want to put down torches. Uh, we'll deal with this later. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we need, we need a stack of redstone here, not a stack of tin. Yeah, great. That's good. Uh, this is not clogged anymore. Great. Uh, 
so this will uh, this will feed itself, I guess. Yeah, this good. Um, we need to put this timer somewhere central. Um, let's think about this. Where should we put the timer? We could just put the timer here at the beginning. Uh, if we put this, oh, there we go. We don't want the bricks to go away. Uh, if we just put the timer up here, we'll uh, put this down. This needs to be connected, and this as well, I guess. Yeah, so we'll need to use these to join them. Because this needs to be pulled as well, and this needs to deliver a signal. No, this, this one doesn't in particular, not really. Um, this one doesn't need to produce another signal, so that's good. We can keep these. Um... Let's take a look. What do we need from here? We need refined iron to be crafted into blocks. That's right. So let's put down one of these. Uh, do we want to use pipes? Yeah, because it, they look awesome. You want to use pipes whenever you can. So we'll put down one of these freestanding wires. This will connect, yes. And this will connect as well. Great. So this will get a pulse every time the rest gets a pulse as well. So we can put down the timer somewhere over here. There we go. And this will now automatically uh, feed and fill up. Great. Uh, we'll put this on a larger interval for now because we don't want to tick every... Uh, Every two seconds, because that will really annoy you guys, I bet. Uh, so this is filling up nicely. That's great. Uh, this should uh, retract eight every time. Every time a uh, order goes out, we want eight coming in. So this is filling up nicely. Uh, we still, oh, we still got plenty of blaze rods. Nice. I love it how every single one opens whenever you. Whoop. <laughs> That's so great. All right, this is producing machine blocks. We need another filter right here. Uh, there we go. We don't need to rotate that one. And we need some pneumatic tubes because we want the machine blocks going into there. Now, we need some more wire. Uh, let's grab the Philosopher's Stone. Let's do this. Let's, cr let's create a couple of wires, shall we? Yes. So this... We'll connect to the freestanding wire. This will connect to the filter. And the filter will pull these blocks and put them into this auto project table making generators. Great. So there we go. Let's not connect it up just yet. Uh, we need a... Oh, uh, I guess we need a third input for... Uh, let's not connect this up. Thank you. Stay there. Great. Uh, we need a third one for furnaces. Right. Furnaces are very easy to do. Luckily, uh, we can just put down another EMC generator for furnaces. Great. So, this creates batteries. This creates refined iron. Um, we, we could have linked this up, really. Uh, should we put this one over? Yeah, I think we should. Let's make it flush with the wall as much as we can. Alright, this is now flush with the rest of the machines, but we don't want this to connect because we don't want any tin, redstone and cables coming into here. So we, we'll just use a couple of these iron covers. We'll use, uh, we'll use two to make it nice and symmetrical. There we go. Now this does not connect, but we do need some freestanding wire to go over it. So... We'll just grab some of this redstone wire, and this will connect. Great. Uh, now, this will make machine blocks. So we'll put up a sign that says machine blocks. And we'll, we'll just make it singular instead of plural. And we'll take down the 10 seconds so we can get some production going. So bear with me uh, concerning the sound for a second. Uh, we could put the timer, by the way, uh, we could really put this somewhere far, far away. 
let's try and do that because these cables they will they will stretch for a for a while so let's take these up shall we and let's put the timer somewhere we can't really hear the sound there we go um timer this will make sound but we won't be able to hear it very well great it's a very, very soft tick. Now, these lamps, they will go off, which is not really ideal. Um, all right, I've got a better idea. So let's take down these, let's take down these cables, if we can. And let's put it on top of a freestanding wire. We'll just have it go straight into the air. We'll have a panic switch, an off switch. There we go. We won't have to have it against the sides either. That's great. So, yeah, you, you can't really use these inverted lamps uh, with redstone because that will mess it up. So let's grab some freestanding alloy wire. We can put it wherever we like. Uh, I think it's good to put it right here at the beginning, at the side of the machine. There we go. We'll use the freestanding wire. And we'll have a... Um, We'll have the panic switch up here. Let, uh, well, let's just use the last one. There we go. Can we put the timer directly against it? I doubt it. All right, so we need some blocks. Uh, what kind of block should we do? We should have an iron block. Uh, let's have a circle of iron blocks. A circle. In Minecraft, I know it's going to be a square. But let's just have a square of iron blocks. And let's use uh, something to make it look nice, like fence. Do we have fence? Yes, we have. Uh, let's use this fence to keep it against the wall. There we go. This one needs to go. All right. There we go. Looks like it's being suspended. Uh, great. And we'll use the timer up here. Uh, we, we should do something like this. This, yes. And we'll have the alloy wire go down there that's connected. Great. And this will power the machine still. Yeah, this will. Great. And we'll have a lever. Just in case we ever need to turn this off. I don't think we, sh we need to, but you might. All right. This is going to be the panic switch. Great. Suspended up there. This is starting to look more factory uh, every second. All right, um, machine blocks. This is great. This is getting filled up. Uh, we need a, another filter down here. And we need this to grab one machine block every time. So let's grab one. And let's put you in the middle. And let's connect you to a pipe. And this will go into here as soon as it's ready. Now we just need the furnaces and the same deal, uh, but this is a straight uh, straight line. So we'll use a um, use an energy condenser. Oh, that's not an energy condenser. This one, great. And we'll use a hopper. And this will fill up mad fast because uh, why do I have an obsidian chest? <laughs> We don't need one right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I need an ender chest. There we go. You are an ender chest. Great. And we can put blaze rods uh, in here, by the way, because we don't need them. We'll need one furnace. One furnace. Furnace. There we go. Plop. And this is going to make so many furnaces. We don't know what to do with them. So let's grab a filter once again. That's great. Uh, we need covers once again because we don't want the filters going into the uh, into the machine block uh, area. Well, this is technically full, so this I doubt this will ever overflow. Let, let's let's try to see what we can do without these covers. Let's just have it connect. Everything connects. Uh, oh. 
and we'll, we'll just have to make sure that the project table is filled with furnaces before we go. So there we go. Uh, a project table. Come on. <laughs> uh, there we go. This is this is much harder, really, than making a, a hopper factory like this. But it does add to the challenge, which is great. We'll just have a stack of furnaces. That's good. Um, we don't even need a project table, by the way. We don't need it at all. We do need this to be a, to be a singular line. Because this doesn't get uh, processed. This, this is just the finished product.